sightings of UFOs and other unexplained aerial phenomena are on the rise again, and the United States is home to a UFO reporting center that keeps track of reports from across the globe. 2019 saw over 6,000, and 2018 saw over 7,000. By the middle of November, there have been over 5,000 since the beginning of 2022. While such statistics would have been dismissed in the past, recent UFO sightings, including radar tracking and improved sensor pictures captured by reputable pilots, have given them more weight. A new team. The UFO project at NASA has officially begun with a first-rate group of scientists working on it. The team of 16 experts was activated to start to unravel the mysteries that had kept the world guessing for decades, such as whether we are truly alone or if there is too much evidence that we are not the only ones walking this Earth. The August restart of NASA's full-force investigation into UFOs and other strange aerial occurrences is set. The government has assembled a group of experts from diverse sectors to investigate the mysterious phenomena, often reported by American troops. The investigation is separated from the Pentagon and is instead a scientific endeavor, emphasizing public education. Sixteen academics have committed the next nine months to examining ways to make the most of data acquired by civilian government institutions. The investigations will wrap up in 2023. Exploring the unexplored in space and the atmosphere is at the heart of who we are at NASA. To come to any scientific conclusions about what may be occurring in the sky, it is vital to have a thorough knowledge of the facts surrounding inexplicable aerial events. Data is the scientific equivalent of chatter. It's how issues are discussed and addressed. Despite the lack of evidence supporting the hypothesis that they are of alien origin, the government has paid more attention to UAPs in recent years, and the Pentagon is mocking its moves. Official Reports The Pentagon has assembled a specialist team to investigate the sudden increase in pilot reports of UAP sightings. The military only deals with unmanned aerial vehicles that humans did not create. Thus, any UAP that looks like people made it will be avoided. Data documenting NASA's observations of the peculiar characteristics of the UAP, such as its extreme acceleration, were released. Among the participants are prominent scientists, engineers, and business leaders in the aerospace industry. The public is eagerly awaiting the government's announcement of the findings of its efforts to convene a panel of experts from various fields to investigate UAPs. But if we look a couple of billion miles further, there may be alien planets out there. One planet has been identified as TOI 1452b. The Alien Planet Multiple groups have utilized TESS, a ground-based observatory to proclaim the identification of a super-Earth, a possibly rocky planet like ours, but bigger, that orbits a red dwarf star around 100 light-years away. Even though this planet is thought to be a water world, scientists still wonder whether aliens may be making their home there. The depth of any ocean on TOI 1452b, should one be discovered, may be rather extraordinary. Water makes up 70% of Earth's surface, yet the oceans only account for around 1% of that. Expert computational modelers on the discovering team have hypothesized that water makes as much as 30% of TOI 1452b's bulk. The water-to-rock ratios of Saturn's Titan, Jupiter's Ganymede, and Callisto are quite similar to Earth's, except Enceladus. It takes TOI 1452b 11 days to complete one orbit of its star, equivalent to one year on the planet. As a result of the red dwarf star being smaller and colder than our Sun, the quantity of light reaching the planet is comparable to what Venus gets from the Sun. It's possible that the planet still possesses liquid water on its surface, despite its very tight orbit. The star actually makes up half of a binary system with a neighboring red dwarf's partner that orbits at a distance of roughly 1,400 light-years. Within its distance from Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to explore the planet TOI 1452b in the future. The distance of 100 light-years between our planet and the closest star 
seems very little when set against the grandeur of space. Webb may be able to see Draco all through the year because of the constellation's apparent brightness. The group which discovered the findings wants additional time with Webb so that they may continue their exploring efforts. Besides telescopes, we are making immense progress in exploring other planets. A 293 million mile journey. In February 2021, after traveling 293 million miles across space, NASA's largest and most advanced Mars rover, Perseverance, arrived on the surface of the red planet to perform astrobiological research. Recent Mars rock core samples collected by the Perseverance rover have been analyzed by NASA and are thought to contain the first biosignatures of ancient extraterrestrial microbial life. The Perseverance team is eager to get to work finding the solutions. Included in NASA's ecosystem of space exploration initiatives between the Moon and Mars is the Mars Perseverance mission, whose stated aims include characterizing the planet's geology and previous climate, and paving the way for human exploration of the red planet. NASA's Curiosity robot has been exploring Mars for ancient signs of life for a decade now, and they have found them. The UV laser, spectrometer laser, and color camera aboard the Perseverance are used to investigate potential fossils of ancient extraterrestrial microbes. But if you come back to Earth, more advanced examples are nearby. Top Speed Fighter pilots have reported terrifying encounters with UFOs, some of which say traveled at 15 times the speed of sound, defying all known physical laws. Recent footage of the mysterious Night of the UFOs included disturbing audio of a Brazilian fighter pilot who saw one of the numerous UFOs that flew over Brazil in May of 1986. Witnesses in Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, Goiás, and Minas Gerais, Brazil, reported seeing a total of 21 UFOs. At the time, the Brazilian Air Force has sent fighter jets to deal with the crisis. Brazilian official accounts from fighter pilots tasked with pursuing these objects described being left bewildered by what they observed. 21 unidentified flying objects were reportedly sighted by five military pilots. One of the fighter pilots' radio transmissions to the control tower is included in the recently released documentary Moment of Contact, which is based on the event. The documentary includes audio from the pilot's contact with the UFO, one of the most surreal experiences of his life. In a terrifying video, the pilot exclaims, It's not an aircraft. What is it? This documentary is not the first to examine the enduring cultural phenomenon known as Night of the UFOs in Brazil. It's likely the first time the original audio clip has been used. The pilots reported seeing objects traveling at 11,500 miles per hour on the night of the sightings, although they were not detected by aircraft radars. When lawmakers, Air Force officials, space scientists, and national security authorities throughout the globe start taking an interest in UFOs, this documentary becomes all the more important. In May, the United States commemorated the anniversary of the infamous Night of the UFOs by holding a large hearing. Japanese Visitors Although if you've had it with the lack of progress in UFO research in the United States and the lack of clarity in Pentagon reports, you're in luck. The Japanese Institute plans to investigate the mysteries of the cosmos in great detail. Last week, in the remote town of Lino, Fukushima Prefecture, a new UFO lab opened with the intention of investigating the strange and unexplained phenomena that have been reported around the nation. Local Japanese news source, the Manichi, said that the International UFO Lab has opened on the grounds of the UFO Interactive Hall, a facility containing around 3,000 pieces of artifacts and hints. UFO Day commemorating the date of the first confirmed UFO sighting in the United States, fell on June 24th, and the facility had its grand opening that day. The Institute was placed there because of a history of mysterious UFO encounters in the region dating back to the 1970s. One of these occurrences was the sighting of a brilliant cone-shaped object 
flying high over the town in the 1970s. Lino, Japan was dubbed the home of UFOs due to its long history of strange occurrences. Many UFO hunters traveled to Mount Sengenmori, a lonely pyramid-shaped peak often visited by alien enthusiasts in the hopes of catching a glimpse of a distant spacecraft. Have you seen one? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.